Well, hey guys, I just got me in a brand new Guard Pro T5WF. This is a white flash trail camera. Now, this is my third white flash trail camera, but it's the first I've had made by Guard Pro. Now, uh, I bought this from a Trail Cam Pro because, hey, these guys at Trail Cam Pro, if you don't like it, you got 90 days, you can return it. And normally a camera comes with one year warranty. They uh, give you a two-year warranty on this, so this is the way it comes. I've cut the tape, so let's see what this thing looks like. Comes with a lot of good packaging. There's what it looks like in the box. Let's, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out, and we'll go over some of the key features on it, and then we're going to just see what uh, the videos look like. Well, there's the camera, all packaged in plastic. Looks like we got a owner's manual, a strap, and we got a, uh, a cable to if you want to transfer the pictures. Well, first thing I see is it's got one big latch on the side, so you open it up like this right here and you got a viewing screen uh, several buttons right here uh, to set it there's your on and off switch this takes uh, eight double A batteries they go right in here right here just like this behind this little cover On uh, the bottom, you've got your, uh, what I call a tripod mount. Uh, you know, it's made for them external mounts. You screw in. Uh, if you've got cows, don't use this because they'll break it off. Use the strap. Right here on the bottom under this little cover, you've got a place you can uh, use a solar panel or an external power supply. I've got to where I really like using them. It just saves on batteries. Uh, like I said, this is a white flash camera. and I've Got where I really like the white flash cameras because I, I really enjoy seeing the uh, the color videos at night. Now a lot of people say, well, it scares the wildlife. Well, we're going to find out. I haven't had any trouble as of yet, but we're going to find out. Now this takes uh, 32 megapixel pictures and it also takes a full 1080p video. Another feature I really like about this camera is it will take up to a 512 gig memory card and it goes right here in the bottom. Now, if you've got a big card like that and you've got a solar panel and you like to take videos like I do, you can actually leave this out a long time before you actually have to go check it. So that's a very, very important feature to me. So uh, what I want to do first is I'm going to take and I'm going to set this here in my yard and I want to get some close-ups to see what the video looks like close-up. Then we'll take it out in the field and then we'll get some regular deer and whatever comes by. So hey, uh, we'll be back with the footage. We'll check it all out and then I'll be back at the end and I'll give you my final thoughts.
Well, guys, before I get started with my final thoughts, I thought I would uh, just let everybody know that uh, the videos was in 1080p, the highest resolution, and the pictures was in uh, the 32 megapixel, which is also the highest resolution. Well, I didn't personally test the batteries, but the good guys at Trail Cam Pro did, and they say if you use a set of Energizer Ultimate Lithium batteries, and you take 35 daytime and 35 nighttime pictures every 24 hours, that your batteries will last 24.4 months, just a little over two years. Now, if you take 15 daytime and 15 nighttime videos every 24 hours with the same set of uh, Energizer Ultimate Lithium batteries, then your batteries will last 5.7 months. Now, they've tested them, and I'm just going to take them at their word that uh, that's right. Okay, now some of my final thoughts. First thing I look at in a trail camera is, are the videos and the pictures any good? Now, you know, you get a lot of uh, cameras that, you take the daytime pictures, no real good, but then the nighttime are grainy and vice versa. But I'm gonna be honest with you on this one. The daytime and nighttime, both videos and pictures were crystal clear. I, I think maybe as good as there is in the industry. Another thing I look for when I'm buying a camera is it easy to program. I'm gonna tell you, on this particular camera, if you can run your cell phone and send a text message, you will have absolutely no problem programming it. It's very simple. And something else that this camera has that I haven't seen on another camera is when you program uh, video mode, you have the option of, of taking different uh, length of times for night and video. And what I mean by that, say you want to take uh, 45 second videos in the daytime, but you only want to take 20 second videos at night or vice versa or whatever number you want to use, you have the ability to do that. That's one of the first cameras I've ever seen that you can actually, uh, you know, program different lengths of time for day and night videos. Another feature I really like on this camera is the ability to use a 512 gig memory card. Now that's big as, uh, you know, the hard drive on a lot of laptops. That don't mean you have to use a 512 gig memory card. You can use whatever you want, but having the ability to do that me, I like taking videos, and videos, of course, is gonna use up more space. So what I do is I use a solar panel, use a big memory card, and then I don't have to worry about it. I mean, I can you know, leave it out for a long period of time before I ever have to go back and check it. Another feature I like is that 100-foot flash range. If you notice the uh, deer in some of them videos, they was clear back at the protein feeder. You know, that's a good ways back there. You can see them crystal clear. Okay, now if you're going to use this as a security camera, this ain't the camera. It gets you like what they call a no-glow camera. Not even a low-glow, a no-glow. It puts out no light and don't even have the red glow. Another thing I like is being able to uh, take color videos at night. Now this is, uh, of course, a white flash camera, so it puts out a light. And the first thing people say, does it scare the deer? Well, you can see pretty clearly it was some pretty nice bucks and it didn't scare a one now you know I, I expect the smaller ones like the raccoons I filmed raccoons possums bobcats you know pretty much everything with this camera and it don't scare them uh, now the one animal that's probably the most scary of any animal that I film is a coyote I mean even the low glow that puts out that real faint uh, red glow <laughs> that'll scare them but other than a coyote, I haven't really found an animal that this really scares. Now, I'm in Texas. I don't, you know, I'm not with mule deer. These are whitetails. I'm not with mule deer, elk, you know. If you have a, any experience with a white flash camera, please leave a comment. I make these videos to help people out. So if this is scaring, you know, another species, please, uh, please leave a comment and let everybody know so we can just help each other out kind of a, you know, hunters helping hunters. Well, as far as the cons, I'm really, really having a hard time finding any cons. Really, I haven't found any. About the only thing remotely with a con is if an animal's moving real fast, then that then in picture mode, it may blur a little bit, but hey, that's kind of expected. Well, if you're looking for a good quality white flash trail camera, this Guard Pro T5WF just may be the 
uh, camera for you. I have been very, very pleased with this. Well, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Hey, if this helped you out or enjoyed this video, hey, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I like to, you know, use these game cameras and put out lots of game camera videos. So, hey, till next time, I'll catch you later. Happy hunting.